Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Jazz Punk. Last time we picked up our Mission All subscription, and then off screen I accidentally hit E and swallowed it. All right. Time to infiltrate the Soviet consulate, and by that I mean turn around. Do I have something on my face? No. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's already got something on his coat again. I really love the way that this game goes about its subtitling. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Reduced to... Well done. Can I interest you in a stick of gum? My eyes. <laughs> uh this game. Keep on rolling, sir. What are you doing that? This is Xerox Park. He's still going, huh? Reminds me of that bug from Halo 3. Oh, there he goes. All right, come to a rest. Nippon Telenet. Nippon is the actual name for Japan. Let me find a list of these, if you please. All right, the internet was supremely unhelpful. Back in. So Nippon is the like actual name for Japan, in the same way that Germany is actually called Deutschland. There he goes. Let's just keep going over them. Alkaline machine ready and a therapin repair. <laughs> so we get invisible walls so we can't jump over here. So any place that you actually can jump off, the world shakes like you landed on a trampoline. Closed for no reason. Thank you. Gone fishing. Get a job. We can't afford these. Type 2. Cuda Chrome Full Spectrum. Uh, I'm pretty sure you stole my laptop. My jetpack's a piece of crap. You gotta get your own peanut butter. The government. You gotta look behind. <laughs> Joe's think pizza. So, this is a reference to all those Slender games that came out, if you remember that era of horror games. So you can see that this uh, the path is pepperonis and the rest of the world is just cheese and pizza. We have a pizza flipper. One of these big pizza paddles. Actually, we can bring up the console here. Initializing the indifference engine. Fractal pun algorithm iterations exceeded quota. Unexpected saxophone has occurred. Bypassing leap text to speech module ready. ET telenating home. Long distance charges will apply. So we've turned on God mode. However, to activate it, we turn on. How do you how do you spell this? Sorry, I can't spell. Atheist mode is the opposite of God mode. And you can see now we take... Yeah, he can't actually kill us. Nothing in this game will kill you. There's only one area where you can be killed, and it's not the real game. And again, you can see he'll just keep on rolling until he hits something. <laughs> you actually cut slices out of them. 
That's funny. What about you, sir? <laughs> oh, that's really... Oh, you make them into pizza slices. Ah, oh, he's cut too small. Pizza cabin. Not a hut. It's a cabin. Remember in Spider-Man 2 where they complain about pizza yurt? Oh, it's the boss. <laughs> oh, these are these are peppers as well. Jeez, <laughs> just big pizzas. Oh, it's stuffed crust. That's what the cabin is. And of course, it's an actual cabin as well. We're being invited in. Singing bass. Cool. All work and no play. <laughs> stack of dill pizza. All work and no toppings makes stack of dill pizza. All pizza, no pizza makes stack of dill pizza. All pizza, no pizza makes pizza, pizza, pizza. And then a pizza, pizza, no pizza, 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 a pizza, 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 pizza. It continues in this vein so we get pizza, 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 Fish laughing. <laughs> All right, back in. <laughs> I'm calibrating sensor for a dollar. <laughs> Am I Turing you on? Oh, tur like Alan Turing. Ironically, that man was gay. I like your tape deck, ma'am. I love how awful his drawing is. The Populux. Hello, man. Congratulations. You're the 1,032nd player to inspect this garbage. Take this decouser. Use it to scramble three carrier frequency pigeons. Hit each pigeon three times in order to degauss it. I have chronic reptile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> the rooster is wearing sunglasses. I repeat. The rooster is wearing sunglasses. The fly is in the soup. I repeat, the fly is in the soup. I wonder if the subtitles were made because of the weird translation. Like, they just intentionally translated it back and forth between Japanese and English a couple of times. It's all about the giles, man. I got a partition. It goes like this. I got some upcoming gigs. Almost a terabyte. That's funny. That's me. Okay, but only if you clarity protection. Whoa, are you crazy? <laughs> Whoa, are you crazy? There you are. One down. Pheromone, Paris. Eau du Pigeon. Get him! I kind of love how awful this game is. 
believe in yourself. Thank you, sir. You. Can you believe that these things are called atomizers? And he's being taken away. <laughs> Love the absurdity of this stupid, stupid game. Parallax Cinema. Quadruple Identity. Uh, Johnny Mnemonic. Pneumonia, rather. Johnny Mnemonic is a real movie. Occult is my password. The big sleep mode. <laughs> Definitely not a spike truck. Just a milk truck with a satellite dish. The show is starting shortly. This huge cigar. Do you mind? You can just ash at people. I have no idea what this originates from, but it appears to be. <laughs> Run out of popcorn. I don't know what this originates from, but it appears to be a, like, old commercial for, um, like, a toy of some kind. Also worth noting is that the popcorn persists on, like, so if I just went in there and kept throwing more popcorn around, I would get more popcorn thrown in there. I'm trying to get free Wi-Fi from Starbucks. But I shot my bastard cracker on the road. Amphibian data visor. Collect eight data packets to crack the network. <laughs> I have no saliva. Secure WLAN. Automatic WEP. And password. We've helped a man. Hello, Robot. Hello, my name is Johnny, too. My mother never thought me. Nice try. Uh, sorry, there was a pigeon behind you. Mmm, a sandwich. I got an idea. Press the big button. <laughs> circumflex apartments right here I think a circumflex is a kind of if I remember correctly it's a kind of letter you're late find the mailbox marked with chalk on the side you'll receive further instructions from there we are everywhere in underwear no wait wow that's rough I have quick save. I barrier to a trash can in almost every way. Placebags. Never take placebags after taking missional. And of course, we're still on missional, which is why we're here at all. Do I want to clean those up or?
God, I've been recording for 15 minutes already. I'm just having too much of a good time. I love that. I record on that. <laughs> oh, it's the Nest cartridge for Jazz Punk. Where it belongs, according to the devs. Thanks for collecting the pigeons. This is my Mima's secret pigeon pot pie recipe. <laughs> Please wait while they bake. Ah! Just like Mima used to make. I have fourth degree burns all <laughs> over my entire face. Oh, of course, because it's still hot. Ah, uh, it burns. Ah, uh, I have fourth degree burns all over my entire face. Awesome. Now we just got to find the white. Uh, mention that we had, I'm. Ah, the pigeons. <laughs> If you're lost, stuck in life, call the Hint helpline. We'll set you on the right path. 555 Hint. Never looked at this. Xerox is an old way of saying a copy machine. It's an old brand of copy machine. Dedicated to the memory banks of George Paik in commemoration of his outstanding research in fission-based quantum biomechanics and as founder of Vera City's first augmented puppy orphanage. May his nuclear-powered titanium skeleton orbit Ganymede in peace. Do you have the MacGuffin? J-F-T-E-T, -E assassinated. Come back when you've got the MacGuffin. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> oh, I'm being stalked. You can see it. Oh, where's he at? <laughs> President steps down onto ground after descending a ladder. <laughs> and we can see that milk truck again. Oh, I love how stupid this whole thing is. E equals MC squared. There's a man with a harp sitting on a bench. Deliver this package to him. <laughs> the tramp ampoline. <laughs> Every time. Oh, sorry, the other bench. Of course, this bench. Have a seat. Locate the newspaper box marked with a piece of chewing gum. <laughs> Pigeon. registry i would love to make a game like this this is such a good piece of game design and that it just it's so indulgent in its own stupidity and that's <laughs> that's truly admirable spare me a couple bits Whoa, you crazy. oh that reminds me Am I going to spend the whole time outside and not in the Soviet consulate? Uneventful news day seizes a nation. Moon explodes. Page 63. <laughs> I can't wait to sit through the credits of this game, to be honest. You're almost there, Agent. Go to the Raytheon Motel. Knock on the door using the secret knock. Mm -hmm. Not correctly. 
and you'll be led inside. All right. Let's head on over. All right. There's the apartments. Oh, I didn't check. Customer reaction has been overwhelming. Awesome. I ate some. I am bursting with energy. So can I see here? That reminds me. Haven't saved yet. <laughs> we specialize in laundering your stolen goods. Okay, that's the cinema. The milk truck is back. Wing. <laughs> and by the way, the whole mission, the main mission is in there. We've spent the whole 21 minutes of this episode running around having fun out here and doing side quests as well. It's not like we get anything. There's no XP or weapons or health in this game. This is just for its own fun. Shave and haircut two bits. Nice. Congratulations. You've made it. This carrier frequency pigeon possesses top secret information. We need you to smuggle it into the next level by any means necessary. You got it. Don't let us down. This trench coat's made of the finest bald eagle pelts. The cat is in the toilet. I repeat, the cat is in the toilet. Well done. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Side quest complete. Also, why wouldn't you just have the carrier pigeon fly somewhere? Why, in the name of God, would you have someone pick up and carry a carrier pigeon? <laughs> right, got anything for me, sir? Locate the newspaper box, Mark. Okay, you're just there to help me out. Let's keep playing. Let's go for... Let's go for a little longer. Reception. You know that backwards R is actually an E? Leave me alone. Typesetter fired. Inak pleads insanity. <laughs> You don't have appointments. <laughs> it's a readme.txt, and by desktop, they mean an actual desktop. As in the top of someone's desk. I'm sorry, I cannot allow you access. Oh, whole, bu no whole bunch of vodkas. This one's like a, I'm a fugitive or something, I think. You have insufficient security clearance. But luckily behind him, we can see that 12 is lunchtime. <laughs> it's not my real hand. I just dropped it. Massy security. Ah, uh, I'm a super genius. Boolean. It's a coding thing, I believe. <laughs> Needless flip. This is a type of. This is a very simple circuit. Uneventful news day. Oh, we read that one. <laughs> we paid money for that one, in fact. It's a desktop. This is funny. So, this is actually the real shape of a virus. Some viruses are, in fact, shaped like this. Um, I have an opinion on viruses. I don't think that they're alive, but they are built of organic stuff, and I can't deny that. So I kind of think of them as like 
just organic computers or robots, you know? And presumably, yes, this is actually literally happening in this. Huh? In this Petri dish that we're observing here. Phage complete. Face infectors. Weird little triangle butt things. So dumb. Mainframe of the month. It's got a SIG. Amplodyne mainframes. Man, they don't name computers like they used to. We can make a cheat copy, of course. Put that in our inventory. Employee of the month. Geizometrics. We're not valid because we don't have the right face. All I need is a human heart. So you can see that we can hold this up in front of our face. Nice shoes. But what it wants us to do is take this, hold it up. And now that we're the employee of the month, the fire alarm and the ice alarm. <laughs> Why would anyone install that? That is the environmental damage effect from Half-Life 1. Which is such a very... Caution, floor lubricant. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. I love it. So we've missed the cartridge. <laughs> Whoops, I should have done something else, I think. All right. Comrade Crunch. Three 2600 hertz whistle inside. Stays communist, even in milk of capitalist pig. Comrade Crunch, inert glu glu glucose byproduct. Uh, fermentation date. October 32nd, 1956. Nutrition facts. Hack here. Neural terminus. <laughs> the comrade needs to data mine for nuclear secrets. <laughs> so we have a whistle now. Kremlins 2, the new batch, please hold. The hold music is the Tetris theme. Charge. 
link to your credit card. And try to explain yourself on that one. I want to see if I can. Damn. Oh well. Just trying to see if I can type in the hint code. Target acquired. All right, that'll do it for this episode. I've been Alfred. This has been Jazz Punk. I did. I realized I didn't talk this much, but like, man, you kind of just gotta let this game breathe. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye. -bye.